Hello, welcome to another video from Tomo's Tech. Now today we're going to be taking a look at this. So this is the Amazon Alexa device. So it's just the uh, the original Echo Dot. And today I'm just going to show you really quite simply how to set one of these up out of the box because it can get a bit confusing and uh, this is just supposed to be a little bit of help so you can see what should be happening with your device as you go through the steps. So first thing we'll do, we'll take a look at what we get in the box. So in the box you will get of course the, uh, the Alexa itself, uh, nothing much to it but you've got volume up button, volume down button, mute button so the Alexa doesn't listen in to you and the action button and on the underneath you've got just a rubber a rubber pad so that it doesn't move about on shiny surfaces and then you've got the power inlet and then you've got an aux audio out on the back you also get a uh, power supply now this one is rated at 9 watts um, but you can use a slightly less powerful uh, phone charger or, or something else with with a less rating and it will still work uh, it just might struggle a little bit at the higher volumes and then we have the power cable so what we're going to do to set this up first things first we're going to plug the traditional USB connector into the power socket and then on the back of the Alexa itself we are going to plug the other end so you'll be able to see which way around it goes uh, because there's a, a curved edge to the, uh, to the power connector so plug that into the back and then power it on what will happen the, the lights will flash blue and it will spin round and eventually it should make a, a bit of a strange noise um, which is the introduction sound which signifies that it's operational so we'll see what happens next there's the orange light there's a strange sound hello let's get started just install the Alexa app and follow the instructions okay so we'll do what, what Alexa says I'm just going to do the next bit on my phone so I'll drop it down in the bottom left hand side of the screen so we can see what's going on. So first things first we need to go into the Play Store and we need to search for Alexa. Well we'll just remove that and we'll search for Alexa. We'll see the Amazon Alexa app. If we click install there. Wait a moment while that downloads. Okay so then the Play Store will uh, install that for you. Once that's done, just click open. Then you just need to, to sign into the app, which I'll do off camera, um, as I don't want to give you my <laughs> details. And then once you've uh, signed in there, it'll ask you who you are. So you select your name. I'm not going to show you this on the screen. Uh, if you're not on there on the list, then you need to just press I'm someone else. Then it'll ask you if you want to give permissions to the Amazon app, which we do. And it just gives you a bit of a guide of what you can do in the app. So I'll just quickly go through those. And then it gives you the weather and the date in your location. And a chicken, so you can create a routine and some other, a few other cards that you can uh, select and do things with. But the button we're interested in is the bottom right hand corner. And we need to press the plus to add a device and we go add device and then we choose what device we're wanting to add so in this case it's the Amazon Echo and it's the Echo Dot and I've got the first or second generation you can tell which one's which just by the way that they look okay so then it says you need to connect it uh, to the Wi-Fi so you can start using it so if we hit continue and at last you can see the orange light, um, if you haven't already plugged it in then do plug it in until you see the orange light then press continue and then we need to go into our Wi-Fi settings so on Android you can hold down the Wi-Fi button and switch your Wi-Fi on if it's not already and then we want to select uh, the Amazon device that will show up 
in the list of Wi-Fi networks. Connected. Go ahead and finish setup in your Alexa app. Okay, so then we jump back to the Amazon Alexa app and we get a tick on the screen to say that it's connected directly so the moment we're not on the internet on our device we are connected directly to the Amazon Echo uh, and then on there you will see a list of Wi-Fi networks that you will want to connect to so what you'll need to do there is select your home Wi-Fi or indeed office Wi-Fi if you're setting this up in your office and you will need to click on that or press on that and then It'll ask you for your password, uh, which will be on the back of your internet router, or you may have a card that came with your internet router, but that's what you need to put in. So it's the password to access your Wi-Fi network. And then you'll see a screen that says your Echo Death Dot is online, and it's connected to the internet. So we'll hit continue. So that's if you want to connect an external speaker and at the moment we don't want to do that so we'll use the built-in echo speaker and then you'll be back to the home screen on the app so now we shall test to see if we have been successful and see what happens Alexa how are you? I'm feeling wordy and thinking about oxymorons or contradictions in terms one of my favorites is from Andy Warhol who said I'm a deeply superficial person Ask me for an example of an oxymoron if you'd like to hear more. Alexa, give us an example of an oxymoron. An example of an oxymoron is, he did it accidentally on purpose. Hmm, excellent. Alexa, Simon says, please subscribe to Thomas Tech. Please subscribe to Thomas Tech. Nearly. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Uh, if you did visit this video in order to get some additional help in setting up your Alexa, and I hope I've saved you some time and effort in uh, doing that. If it did help you, then just put a like down below. And if you do enjoy my videos, then please hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.